Hello everyone, it's Laura and welcome to the weekly pet reading. So let's see what is going on for everybody's fur babies today. And I hope everyone's having a great week. I see that the weather is starting to shift in different locations. So let's see, what do we need to know? And take what fits for your situation. I know people have lots of different types of pets. I myself have a guinea pig and cats and I've had dogs and all types of animals. Okay, we have two cards for this week. We have the crown chakra and we have telepathy. And this one, they said to start with this one first. This is about your connection with your animals, um, sensing their feelings. And they said that oftentimes the animal itself is our nurturer is the one that knows, hey, they're not feeling good, or they're not the, they're not doing too well. I'm gonna go and take care of them. So for this upcoming week, make sure that you're allowing your pets to take care of you. Sometimes we're so focused on them, or like, what do you need? What's going on? What's happening? Um, I know that some people that watch this, they're so in tune with their animals. You wanna make sure that you allow your pets to nurture you this week. Okay, there is this divine connection to telepathy, and they said, remember, if, um, they said if you're angry or something, to kind of calm yourself a little bit before interacting with your animal, because it can make your animal go a little crazy or haywire or do odd behavior sometimes. Sometimes they're like a sponge and they take on what we feel. So just be aware of that for this week and their sensitivities. And then for the crown chakra, it is about their inner knowing and them getting messages from the source. And the angels want to say to everyone watching that, yes, animals do have a soul. And yet when they pass away, they can go be in heaven with the angels and go to a place where there's all these animals. Or sometimes they come and they want to be by the owner or they come and visit the owner a lot. And I've witnessed this myself where I was taking care of a puppy and this puppy got into an accident and passed away. And then I would go back to the house and take care of a new pet that they had. And I would see that old puppy still there. And I would see the angel holding the puppy. So this is for you guys to just focus on your intuition also. Sometimes these cards are for the owners too. So pay attention to your inner knowingness, your signs, listen to your body, listen to what's happening and focus on what is needed for you and your pet to thrive. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of the meaning of this card for the crown. So I'm gonna go to the meaning real quick. And for this one, here's the message, okay? This energy center is at the top of my head. This energy center helps me to understand my spiritual self, unity, empathy, and higher pet wisdom. If I am feeling disconnected from others, overly sensitive to my environment, worry, or having mental conditions such as dementia among others, this energy center is out of alignment. So it's out of balance. You can help me by providing a stable environment where I can feel like I fit in and I am safe. I may need a specialist to help break ingrained fears and behavior patterns that are holding me back from enjoying life. Call the angels to balance this energy center daily. So that is something that you could do for yourself as well, as you could just say, I'm calling in the guardian angels now for me and my pet. Please balance, align, heal, open, strengthen our energy centers and chakras. So this often helps people to feel more clear, focused, grounded, um, helps us to have that clear connection and know, okay, if I'm feeling kind of fuzzy or off, oftentimes balancing out those energy centers helps us to be more sharp. So I try to do it every day, and especially before readings. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. You guys have a wonderful week and take care.